Let's a little and the big bad wolf. Sir Lance a little and the big bad wolf. Cast of characters. Sir Lance a little. Harold the horse, Princess Plum, Huffleup the dragon, the big bad wolf. Sir Lancelot Little looked out of his castle window and cheered. Hurrah! There was a new challenge from the dragon. Today's the day. He set off immediately on his trusty horse, Harold, to meet and defeat his number one enemy, Huffleup. Sir Lancelot was the bravest and cleverest knight in the whole kingdom of Nottingham, or that was what he liked to think. Then Sir Lancelot's cousin, Princess Plum, saw the message and set off too. If there was a fight, Princess Plum didn't want to miss it. Annoyingly, she didn't have a horse, so she ran as fast as she could to catch up with him. She ran. Straight into a big bad wolf. Where are you going in such a hurry? Asked the wolf. To see a fight, puffed Princess Plum, and I don't want to be late. Perhaps I could show you a shortcut. The wolf offered, smiling. A shortcut was just what Princess Plum needed. She followed the wolf deep into the wood, which really wasn't a good idea. Meanwhile, in his cave, the dragon was filling his teeth and sharpening his claws, preparing to meet his number one enemy, Sir Lance Alito. Hubble was the furious and the most Cunning dragon in the hall of Nottingham. He was also the most handsome, or that was what he liked to think. As Sir Lancelot Little rode along, he imagined Huffleup cowering in his cave. He could almost hear the dragon's tail rattling in fear. But suddenly, Sir Lancelot Little heard something. Quite different. It was the voice of his pestiferous cousin, Princess Plum. You're not putting me in a pot," she told the big bad wolf. "Watch me," replied the wolf, grinning. <laughs> Sir Lancelot Little almost rode on to meet the dragon. But he was a knight of honor, after all. First, he must save his annoying little cousin. Sir Lancelot Little waved the sword and charged into the clear. Be afraid, he told the wolf bravely. But the wolf didn't seem a bit afraid. In fact, he folded his paws and yawned. Sir Lancelot Little was hopping mad. He rushed forward to teach that wolf a lesson. But the wolf was surprisingly fast. On his paws, he leapt sideways. Sir Lancelot Little charged again. 
This time, the sneaky wolf stuck out a foot and tripped him up. Then, can you believe it? The wolf did an even sneakier thing. He sat on the little knight, pinning pinning him to the ground. That's not fair, Sir Lancelot cried. He knew the knight's code of honor by off by heart, and sitting on people was wasn't in it. But the wolf didn't care about honor; he cared only about his stomach. While the wolf waited for the water to boil, Sir Lancelot Little and his tiresome cousin glared at one another. Look what you did now! Look what you did! Suddenly, there was a roaring sound. What's that? Asked the wolf nervously. That said, Sir Lancelot Little is Huffleot, the fiercest. Dragon in the whole of Nuttalot. He is famous for his colossal appetite for eating people. And wolves, added Princess Plums. Oh yes, especially wolves, agreed Sir Lancelot. Little. The wolf looked even more nervous now. A large head appeared through the trees. Breathing fire. When Huffleup saw the wolf sitting on his number one enemy, he stretched to his full height and roared. Help! Save me! Howled the wolf, racing off with the end of his tail on fire. Sir Lancelot quickly struggled. To his feet, he didn't want the dragon to think he might need rescuing. Ready when you are, he told Huffleup bravely. Sir Lancelot wasn't actually ready. He was tired out. That wolf had weighed a ton. Huffleup wasn't ready either. He used up all his fire on that pesky wolf. Still, a challenge was a challenge, and neither of them wanted to back down. But Princess Plum was hungry by now, and sick of waiting to be freed. Oh, bother, bother! Can't it wait till tomorrow? She said. Sir Lancelot, Little, and Huffleup were secretly quite happy to put off their battle. Don't be late next time. Don't you be late? I could have easily escaped, you know," Sir Lancelot told Princess Plum, who nodded wisely. "Wolves, dragons! It was all in a day's work for a brave little knight like him." The end.